I found a real paradise island in Indonesia. It's small, surrounded by coral reefs, and there are no cars on the entire island. But first, we need a plan. Have a breakfast, rent a bike and show you around this beautiful island, find the iPhone case for filming underwater, and the biggest goal of today is trying to find a turtle and make some shots. And if you watch until the end, you'll find out why there are so many abandoned resorts on this island. Let's do it! Breakfast well, that was easy and pretty good. The breakfast is done, let me now show you the place where I live. Let's start with our OnlyFans studio. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't skip this one. But seriously, we rented out a typical island bungalow, with a wooden rooftop, mosquito net over our bed, an Instagram famous outside shower and a not so Instagram famous outside toilet. Honestly though, when it's sunny it's literally too hot to take a shit. But now it's time to explore. We put on sun protection and realize that it's not so easy to ride a bike on the sand. <laughs> Alright, so we rented out these bikes, you can rent them pretty much everywhere, that's the main mean of transportation here on the island. Another one is horses, yep, that's right, people use horses here to transport goods and themselves. And basically it's like a small, small village with some occasional restaurants on the sides. The island definitely got some unique vibes with all those horses and the absence of huge traffic found anywhere else in Indonesia. So the mission for now is to find some waterproof case for iPhone to shoot some turtles later today. And we'll see if we are gonna succeed because, you know, there are not so many shops around here. Uh, do you have like a waterproof case? Water. Yeah. Do they have one? They also don't have one. Traffic jam. After multiple fails, we finally found a store that sells underwater cases. And we bought this case, I think it's just perfect. I think we deserve a drink. <laughs> or two. So this is like a oatmeal latte, and this is, I think, kombucha with blueberry. And a milkshake. While chilling in this coffee shop, I noticed clear similarities to Bali, the neighboring island that you've probably heard of. Let's just hope it won't turn in something like this in the next few years. So now the only thing to do is to go to the sea and film some turtles. But there is a little problem. Now it's like the worst time to do that because it's super hot and you know the sun is cruel now. So I think it would be good to wait like one hour and do something else instead and then go to the sea. But the question is what we can do now. Found here a barbershop and why not to get a haircut? And that was probably one of the best barbershop experiences in my life. A head and face massage was unexpected but definitely enjoyable. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now it's finally time to find those turtles. The idea of bikes is great, but you know, the implementation <laughs> not so great because there are no roads. Wow, just look at this view, oh my god. On the way to the beach, we stumbled upon an abandoned resort and decided to take a look inside. To our surprise, we discovered that the whole place is in really good condition, with furniture, carpets and all those hotel stuff. So if you travel on a budget, you know where to go. Don't forget your sleeping bag. And it's not just one resort. There are dozens of abandoned buildings on the very coastline of Kili Air.
feels like someone's living here. Like there is a smell and I don't know. And look, this one has this huge pool. Also is completely abandoned and it seems like it happened before pandemic. And you'll never believe what happened next. Right when I was recording this and speculating about when exactly this place got abandoned, I was approached by this guy who turned out to be the son of the owner of this place. Earthquake. Yeah, so it's like five five years. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Is that it belongs to your dad? Yeah. yeah? Okay, okay. Like you plan to renovate it? Well, we're going to plan uh, challenge. This is the biggest area on the Oh, okay. The biggest uh, like a uh, resort. Like yeah. A resort. Okay, let's finally make this turtle safari happen. When you see a sign saying that the turtle laid eggs here, you know you're very close. So we rented snorkeling gear. Yes, I'm gonna swim in my shirt, because I got sunburned on the previous day. And then we started our turtle search mission, which didn't last very long. We immediately were able to spot one. I think this turtle is tired of us. We've been following it like for <laughs> like half an hour. Wow, but she's not afraid at all. Like I think she can enjoy it too. What an end of this day. Some cocktails, fresh coconut, and one of the most beautiful sunsets in my life. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And somebody just proposed right there.